hello my love for goodies welcome back to your channel and to our kitchen how to cook we are doing a requested recipe once again jamaican saltfish and okra sunday morning breakfast in my kitchen fast easy and simple make sure that you have subscribed if you're not already and turn on your post notification settings so you'll always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video let's get started you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from Rest of our eye, eye Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you You know when no obligation but you win some respect All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need you okay love muffins let's start cooking this is a jamaican saltfish and this is a saltfish that i'm using if you don't have that kind of saltfish you could go and use a tropical saltfish or any other saltfish where you want to use now you could also soak it overnight as well as you can boil your saltfish but make sure when you're boiling it you boil it for at least 30 minutes i always do 15 minutes first throw off that water 15 minutes after you go back fresh water and boil it again but if you're doing it overnight make sure that you soak it really well and rinse it off and your surface should be ready sometimes it's still salty you might have to boil it again but this is what jamaican saltfish texture looks like it is rather bony so if you are in fact using the jamaican boneless bone in saltfish and they do have boneless you want to make sure that you take off that outer layered skin the saltfish that you buy in the pack it doesn't have any outer skin layer on it or it doesn't have any bone and it's really easier to prepare this one is more time consuming but the texture of the saltfish as you can see here it's more dense and it does taste better if you are making like kalalo or anything like that as you can see here right so this is the route that we are going you just want to make sure say you take out them bones because it does have a lot of bone in it but the texture is word the bone them right does not try to choke on them bones but mine was a little bit salty even i soak it overnight so i did have to go in and do it again for 15 minutes now i'm using my okra and this is fresh okra from the, the market so you want to go ahead and boil those before you add it into your recipe i usually just cut it up small depending on who's eating and then give it like about 10 minutes tops and your okra is ready you don't want to overcook it because it'll come softy softy and saggy saggy and it's going to fall apart so as soon as it looks like that you want to remove it from the heat take the water off because if you leave the water on the okra it's got to continue to cook so that covers that now to get the recipe started you need tomatoes and onions and scallion garlic a lot of bell pepper i love bell pepper on mine and definitely thyme grab your hot scotch bonnet pepper even though your girl don't like a pepper this recipe does call for some kind of a spicy tangy to it so yeah I'm going to go with it with some hot scotch bonnet pepper now what you want to do first here is get your frying pan and add some oil I'm using corn oil use any kind of oil where you want to use now with your freshly prepared veggies you are going to go ahead and add it into the oil right so you just go ahead and just pour everything out into the oil and we are going to allow this to cook for no, not less, nothing over, let's say nothing over five minutes. Because we don't want those veggies to become soft and soggy. We are just letting them cook but have its crunch into it. Because remember after you add your okra and your other, you know, the, the saltfish, it is going to soften up a tad more bit. I did add some garlic to it because I do love garlic into everything when I cook but always add garlic but mm, it might be optional but I love garlic and so you give it a good mix combination and my fire is on medium heat do not put it on high heat because you don't want to rush it while you're cooking make sure that you have your fire at this point on medium heat i did go in with my apple cider vinegar and if you don't have any apple cider vinegar you could have 
add white vinegar or any vinegar of your choice. Now, everybody like apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. Just go ahead and grab you whatever you use at home. Go ahead and put that in. And I did add a teaspoon of that. I covered it up. And like I said before, allow it to simmer. You know tenderize for five minutes tops five minutes tops is going to look like that right the veggies are all swept up and you can still see it's crunchy that is how you want it to be now with your nicely prepared bone take out the bones them out of that salt fish you are ready to move on to your next step and remember you could also use a tropical salt fish i love this brand so if you can grab it get it if not go ahead and grab you your Jam jamaican salt fish your jamaican salt fish right it's going to be your choice but whatever you do remove the bone if you are in fact using the jamaican salt fish because it is bony then you go in and it's time to add those cooked um, okra and if you don't want to cut them that small goodie you could always do it bigger it's just that whoever was going to eat this they wanted it cut small that's why I cut it that small right so big small medium whatever but you're gonna just go ahead and put the okra in then because if you overcook that okra it is going to fall apart then to that I added some black pepper just a little sprinkle or two of black pepper I would say about a teaspoon of that black pepper and I went in and sprinkled that all over my Sawfish, right? I love my combo season, my ultras combo season. If you don't have that, you can substitute for whatever you like. But that was pretty good with my my um my sawfish, my combo season. It goes on, on everything that I cook. Then I gave it a nice little combination mix. As we're doing right here, give it a nice little mix. And my fire, guys, is still on medium eat. Now put it by I eat because if I put it by I eat, don't cook too fast, and it is going to ruin what we are trying to achieve, right? Don't come greasy if that makes any sense. It'll start frying like you have fried chicken. So you just want the veggies to stay springing its natural juices if it remains on medium heat now after you have done this to say that you are in fact going to get your lid and cover it up make sure it's on medium heat and let it simmer for another five to seven minutes now be sure that you have subscribed to the channel if you have not already and turn those notification settings on goody i always have good recipes up here and i'm always fast easy and simple to follow now if you don't see what you want be sure to ask i'm always here to deliver right now be sure to go ahead and subscribe to your girl channel life of juliana inspirational videos dollar tree diys i love so much and vlogs and more now all my vegan goodies go ahead and subscribe to that channel there's no more vegan recipes here let separate the two right so the vegan recipes are now on my channel life at juliana only now my story time video is coming up next so make sure you say subscribe because that one gonna be yum shots i love you love you guys so much and thanks for supporting what i do okay now after five to seven minutes that is what it looks like now like i said you don't want to overcook your your um your onions and stuff you still need to have that crunch when you are all complete as you can see here your fire should be on medium heat go there don't turn the fire on high heat turn it on medium heat because if it's cooked too fast it's gonna start frying like i said before i'm gonna make sure someone's telling it nice and slow enough because i don't want it to ruin it and then they say oh i don't know what happened and all i did everything and it didn't come out right don't turn your fire up high medium eat only only goodie and it's going to come out just like that. you see that that is natural juices from your veggies your onions and your tomatoes your bell pepper and scaling and thyme and all that now i am having bananas and dumpling and yellow yam and yes 
I don't have time to peel my bananas from the skin. All right, yeah, but as this is how I do it, everything in my kitchen is fast, easy, and simple. Me have my hands full, so everything have to be fast, 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 fast. Okay, so I say, yeah, girl, I do it now. Like I said, I'm having banana dumping and yellow yam for breakfast. Now, this is what it looks like on the plate. I'm all ready and set to go, and I did put a couple of slices of tomato. But yes, it was fast and it was easy and simple. I do have another recipe with this, the same thing a while back. But for my new goodies, you um, requested this recipe and I'm always here to deliver. Even if I have to do the recipe 20, 100 times, your girl is always here to deliver. Now, if you don't see what you want, make sure you say ask feed and I'm always going to give it, right? So share the recipes thumbs up the recipes tell me what you like to have me cooking next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy